click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we'll be discussing certain details about the return of goods from the consignee when it comes to consignment accounts. So when we speak about the goods that are returned back from the consignee to the consigner, it may be due to several reasons. One, it is an unsold stock. Second, it might be that the goods are damaged in transit and not in sellable condition anymore. Third, it might be due to certain reasons that the goods are not up to the mark or not as per the description mentioned earlier. So, due to several reasons, the goods are sent back to the consigner. Now, the question arises as to what needs to be done when it comes to the valuation of it. So, let's figure out what needs to be done. I'll be jotting down certain points here for your reference. So, as we have mentioned the details here, let's write it down or rather let's figure out what exactly we have mentioned here. The first part is the reasons. The reasons may be poor quality of goods. Second reason may be not as per the description that has been mentioned here. Or the third may be that is it is destroyed in transit. These are one of the or few of the several reasons that we have discussed earlier or that can be a part of consignment. Now the next part of the reason comes the valuation of such stock. It is valued at the price for which it was consigned rather when the invoice performer or the performer invoice was sent out earlier the price that it was consigned the goods that are sent back will be valued at that price itself nothing more nothing less other part of this is or the rather the other side of this is secondary freight isn't concerned or rather it isn't taken into consideration here now the secondary freight is the question secondary freight means the part or rather the cost the consignee incurs in sending those goods back to the consigner isn't taken into consideration. Hence, secondary freight is that part which is not taken into consideration. Only the expenses which are directly related to taking the goods in the first place and the expenses incurred by the consigner are the only expenses that are taken into consideration while valuation of such goods into consideration or rather when these questions or these valuations are into question of any consignment. So when we have to discuss about this detail when it comes to return of goods from consignee to consigner, these are the reasons and this is the kind of valuation that you have to do. So this is what you have to understand about when it comes to valuation of goods or rather when the concept of return of goods from consignee is in question. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.